time, hundreds gathered on the grounds of the U.S. ambassador's residence last evening to celebrate 241 years of U.S. independence ahead of the July 4th holiday on Tuesday. Governor General or Excellency J. Marguerite Penling and Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis were among government officials, dignitaries and other guests celebrating with officials from the U.S. Embassy. U.S. Embassy Charge d'Affaires Lisa Johnson says this is her fourth independence representing her country in the Bahamas and she has come to appreciate the partnership between both countries. Johnson says she has also reflected on what U.S. independence means after the founding fathers committed to a new country with an idea of shared liberty and equal responsibility. They believed that no matter what a country faced, the institutions of government would always be greater than one individual. These ideologies and freedoms that we enjoy, our men and women in uniform continue to protect. They dedicate themselves to defending the principles each of us hold so dear. Each Independence Day, Americans from across the United States and around the world celebrate these values that tie us together, much as we are doing here tonight. Bahamians share that spirit of freedom, demonstrated again during elections just a few weeks ago. I witnessed firsthand Bahamians' dedication to democracy and the example you set for the world with free, fair, participatory elections, including a remarkable nearly 90% voter turnout. Your elections were a reminder that our two nations are united by a shared history, by common values, and by mutual commitment to democracy and human rights. Governor General Our Excellency J. Marguerite Penling also brought remarks at the social gathering. She says in 1776, the U.S. made a declaration to the world that a, that a new nation was born and it has served to motivate many other territories to struggle for freedom and democratic principles. This yearning for freedom, I believe, lies within the hearts of all men and women because it is firmly implanted therein by God himself. Its fulfillment, however, can only be satisfied through a relentless pursuit, sometimes regrettably involving even warfare. The struggles of the achievement of the profound principles of independence, human rights, and social justice require vigilance even after they are won, for through them people and nations are enabled to nurture the common resolve, to uphold and defend those values which hold clear examples of how a united people can achieve real peace and real freedom.